Thank you, good students. Uh, feel welcome. I just want us to go through a short discussion on uh, the shortest uh, distance on the globe. Now, at a time you are asked to find the shortest distance between two points, and at a time you are given uh, two points which lies on the small circle, and the question maybe requires you to find the shortest uh, distance maybe between those particular two points. So in this discussion, I'm going to show you on how to change a small circle to a great circle. Now, I want us to consider this. There are point A, which is 40 degrees north, and then I have to have another, and then maybe 100 degrees east, and I have another point B, which is again 40 degrees north, and uh, maybe 20 degrees, uh, let me say, west. Now, having the two points, if you consider the two points, realize that the two points lies on the small circle. But if you look at it, first of all, the angle difference for this particular two points yeah, is going to be 100 plus 20, which will give us 120 degrees. That is going to be our angle difference. Now, from this, realize that this is a small circle. And therefore, if you want to find the shortest distance between the two points, then you are going to convert it to a great circle. How do we do this? Then we are going to apply this formula that uh, gamma, which is the angle difference for a great circle, is going to be given by twice sine inverse into bracket cos beta. And this beta is going to be the latitude. And then sine beta over 2. Now remember this theta is the angle difference for the small circle. By so doing, we can substitute this and we have sine inverse of a cos of 40 degrees. That is the size of the latitude. And then sine, uh, that is now going to be 120 divided by 2, which will be sine 60. Once we have this, we can go to our calculators. And by so doing, you can actually see that that you're going to say uh, that is cos 40, that one, cos 40, sine 60, which give us that. Then I'll do the inverse of that sign, which I'll get 41. Then I'll multiply by 2, which I get 83.12. So the angle difference for great circle will be 83.12 degrees. So from there, I've already converted this angle difference of 120 to 83. In other words, this is the angle that is going to be subtended by the great circle to these two points. Once I have that angle, then I will therefore recall the formula for distance, uh, distance in kilometers for a great circle. Remember this, that distance in kilometers is usually now that gamma over 360 2 pi times the radius now this one we've gotten as 83.12 then all over 360 then you are multiplying by twice uh, pi times the radius of the earth 63.70 by so doing remember we can put this one into the calculator this one is going to be 83 Point one two all over 360 multiplied by twice times pi times 6370 by so doing I'm getting 9000 I'm getting 9241.07 kilometers so if the question may be needed you to find distance in nautical mile, then I'll say for great circle, it is 60 multiplied by the angle difference. And by so doing, I'll say 60 multiplied by the angle difference, 83.12 degrees. And by so doing, I'll take it back to calculator, 60 times 83.12. By so doing, I'm getting 4,987 point two nautical miles so remember to follow me for more interesting lesson concerning this particular area in 
uh, distance under the globe. Thank you and be blessed. Thank you.